it is currently October 18th, 2018, you may recognize this exact everything because I just finished last week's reading vlog wrap up and I'm starting this week's even though it's a Thursday because like I don't apparently I don't know what I'm doing and I have no organizational skills. I'll just edit it together and hopefully it makes sense. I actually did finish Rebel Spring on Sunday and so that on Sunday I also read like 40 pages of Gathering Darkness, uh, the third book, and I really liked it. But then this little guy came in from the library and I have been on the list for this for like a month and a half. There were 27 people in front of me when I went to order this from the library. Again, it's now Thursday. I am about 118 pages into this book. This one is a bit disappointing actually. Um, that might be scandalous and an unpopular opinion because like the series is very very beloved and I really did love the movie and so I really wanted to love this as well. The movie was really really cute. I'm talking about the Netflix movie. I'll put a picture of it like over here. If you haven't watched it and you have Netflix you should definitely watch it because it's super cute. Um, it's just like a cute teen rom-com movie and there hasn't been another new one of those in forever that has been really really good. That sounds like a topic for another day. The lack of teen movies in the last few years. Good teen movies. There have been teen movies but they have not been good in my opinion. The book is a little disappointing. I was expecting it to be a lot cuter, a lot funnier and it's kind of lacking in both departments. Like it's still setting up. It's, it's very much more like a drama about Lara Jean living without her sister. She misses her sister which I can completely understand because like I have an older sister who also lives far away so I I 100% relate to her like missing her older sister in her life. I went through the exact same thing the first summer my sister was gone for an internship and now she like lives far away all the time and so like I understand that and that's very relatable to me but like I was expecting more like funniness in it and it's not that funny. Also I feel like along with the summer I turned pretty which I read recently I think it's just like her writing style is not quite my thing I don't know, it, we're, it seems like we're starting to get started now at 118 pages in, but I was expecting a little more like snappy cuteness, kind of like the movie was. I loved the movie from the beginning, so I might just like not be a huge fan of the writing style, which is disappointing considering how beloved this series is and I really wanted to love it too. And I think Lara Jean is an adorable character, I really like her, I especially liked the scene where, where she was scrapbooking and talking about all her washi tape because I love washi tape so much and I don't scrapbook but I do like scrapbooking materials. I think really related to the part where she was talking about how she saved like the specific washi tape for like the specific moment and I was like yeah because sometimes there's this really nice washi tape and you just you don't want to waste it and you want to use it on something super special so that was really cute. I do like Lara Jean a lot. I like her a lot better than Belly from The Summer I Turned Pretty. Belly like irritated me and I I will let you know as I continue on with this book how I am feeling. Peter Kavinsky in the movie is so much sweeter. So far in the book he's kind of a jerk. So I'm on page 204 and it's starting to get really cute now. I'm really starting to enjoy it and I also really like Kitty. I kind of wish Kitty were my little sister. There are just some cute moments between Peter and Lara Jean and I'm starting to like it now so I'm happy because the beginning it took a little bit to get going but now I think it's starting to be really cute and Peter's becoming slightly less of a jerk. We're learning more about him and so I'm hoping he like gets a little bit nicer because he's already gotten a bit nicer which is super nice. I'm glad I'm enjoying it. It's like practically 2 a.m. right now and I should probably go to bed soon but I've been enjoying the book so good night. 
So it is now Saturday, October 20th, and I only have about 100 pages left of this book. As you probably saw on the last clip, I was up till like almost 2 a.m. last night reading it. I'm really starting to like it a lot. The relationship is getting pretty cute, and I'm really hoping that I can finish the book today because next week, tomorrow, is the start of the Spooktober readathon, so I have a bunch of library books coming for that, and I own a couple of the books that I'm going to be reading for the readathon, so I'm really hoping to get this one done so that I can just focus on the readathon books because otherwise I know I'm just gonna want to finish the book that I'm currently reading. But before I can get to my reading today, I want to do some writing, so I should get into that. So I ended up finishing this book. It ended up being pretty cute. I did enjoy it. Um, I still think I like the movie a whole lot more just because it's like they took the book and the characters and they just kind of they tweaked it a little bit. They made Laura Jean a little bit less whiny. They made Peter less of a jerk because he was kind of like, you know, he, he wasn't the nicest. Uh, let's be honest, like even in the end when he liked her, he had grown as a character, but he was still kind of like a little bit impatient and not the best. And maybe that's the point. Maybe the book they were trying to be flawed characters and all that. I mean, they are still teenagers. It was just, I feel like the movie them were a bit cuter and I was like really rooting for them a lot more in the movie. And the actress who played Lara Jean was just so adorable and so perfect for the role. The actor who played Peter was like really perfect as well. And they were just, they were so cute in the movie and I really, really loved the movie so much. The movie was also just so adorable and so funny. The only one thing that I would have liked the movie to have included from the book was I really liked the part where it was Halloween and she dressed up as Cho Chang and then Josh dressed up as Harry Potter and they had those really cute moments in the school hallway and then Peter was dressed up as Peter Parker from Spider-Man and all of that. The whole like, Halloween school thing was really, really cute, and I really liked that in the book. And also the ending in this wasn't even, like, the same as the movie. It just... I'm not going to say the ending in case you haven't watched the book or read the... Watched the book or read the movie. <laughs> watched the movie or read the book. But it didn't end in quite as a satisfying a way as the movie ended again. And I know it's probably annoying that I'm, like comparing it to the movie the whole time, but I've watched the movie twice and I absolutely loved it so much. And the book, I was really <laughs> expecting to be, like, on the same exact level. Like, the movie, they turned more into a comedy. This was a little bit more of a drama than the movie was, so I was expecting a lot more funny from this. And it was a lot more of a drama. So I was a little bit disappointed in that respect. Also, I think Jenny Han's writing style it's just, like, not my favorite writing style. I started to analyze it on, like, a sentence structure level, and it sounds really weird and really nitpicky. I don't really like the way she constructs sentences. Once I start noticing the sentence structure, I have to, like, read it without reading the sentence structure, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know, the sentence structure irritated me, and I couldn't get over it, and that was kind of a problem for me also in her other book, the summer I turn pretty. Sometimes these things are just a thing and it can't really do anything about that. So this is a solid three-star book. I did enjoy myself reading it, but I will say that I just enjoyed the movie way more and that's how I'm going to end this vlog. Please let me know if you've read the book or watched the movie and your thoughts on either or both. I would love to hear about them. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. Feel free to chat with me in the comments. How is your reading week going? Have you read any good books this week? Tomorrow is the start of Spooktober. So next week is going to be a fun Halloween themed reading week and I'm super excited for it. I can't wait and I will see you then. Goodbye.